But then that's the thing about every time I wake up in the morning. I am bombarded by nightmares, guys. Spiritual dreams. And they are harsh. It is written in Acts 2.17 that in the last days, the Lord is going to pour out his spirit on all flesh. And people on the ground are going to dream dreams. They're going to prophesy. They're going to basically speak of what's going to come now. I have had the Spirit of the Lord poured out on me, of course, one, because I'm a disciple. But I do believe that that Joel and Acts scripture speaks to the world at large. And I'm going to explain to you why that is true. That, spirit, that outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the last days is not just for those indwelt by the Holy Spirit, not just for the regenerate, not just for the born again, but everyone. I believe that it's for everybody because I have personally, in my own life, had my mom come to me back when I was still employed, so that would be eight years minus, going even back. It would be like nine to ten years ago. I was born again already. I've been saved 11 years, persecuted for eight. One of the days in my new redemption, my mother came to me and she was like, Oh my goodness, I had this like dream and I didn't understand what in the world was going on. The world was coming to an end. It was chaos everywhere. And there was nowhere safe for me and everybody other than where you were, Karabu. And I instantly understood what that meant. And then she said, she also said that she was irritated by that. And she doesn't understand why she was irritated and upset by it. Because at the time, we didn't have these strained relations that we currently do. Months down the line, perhaps about a year from that date, I was attacked by uh, spiritual persecution. So I once got a dream where I was told that, you know how in the Bible, all the enemies of God's uh, kids, the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Moabites, the whatnot, the Cushites. Yeah, I had a dream where I was told the Cushites, the Moabites, the uh, Jebusites, the Amorites, the, you know, ites are going to come up against your family. So essentially the Lord was telling me that you're going to get demonically abused like no man's business through your family. So before my family members went all pear-shaped and awry, okay, before they they lost their wits, before they got knocked off their feet and lost proper footing and grounding, they were cool. They were cool. I was good with them, but then scripture got fulfilled Matthew 10 style where it is written that from now on a man's enemies are going to be members of their own households the lord has come upon the earth not to bring peace but a sword division there will be two against three there will be mother against daughter father-in-law i give you my point and matthew 10 slaps the living daylights out of me that is when everything fell apart in my life i started to get a, a, a like attacked in the office where i was working in, in a church like literally body of christ from now on uh, the day is going to come when those who afflict you are going to do so thinking they're doing a service to God. Uh, I've been, believe it or not, excommunicated out of my church because of my Christian ministry where I was basically lamenting against the horrendous spiritual attack that I was endured under from church folk who were involved in sorcery bewitching the church. Uh, parishioners, like church goers, like church members where the leadership in the church was wicked they were involved in sorcery and so too were a couple of people in the church and they were like literally beguiling putting under spells the congregation yeah the church i belonged to was run by an a cult it was a cult thank you but the parishioners did not know they thought that they were just going to church but the pastors knew that they were running a cult and so too did uh, some of the members of that church and they were actively lulling to sleep the congregation they were stealing women's wombs with women in my church could not have children it was a, a predominantly white church i thought it was a white issue until i realized that no garabo it's witchcraft right they they had a lot of adopted black kids in that church and from women who for years like were trying for babies with their husbands and they just couldn't and so they ended up just adopting so the church had this like base where it had a reputation basically like a trend where there were all these white moms with black baby boys and girls found the fact that it was so ubiquitous in that church weird how women couldn't have babies and how all these white couples had all these bad black babies it was literally just this weird little black space that i was uh, dwelling in not that there's anything wrong for black for white people to adopt black babies but it was just so like, literally that was a theme in my church and i found it weird i picked it up until one day god gave me a dream and showed me that they're actively stealing wombs and i don't know what they were doing with them so i started to write about my suspicions in this regard in my blog i didn't call out what my church was or whatever always believed in the gifts of the holy spirit but that church preached against the, the gifts of the holy spirit it was cessationist it would take it to god all the time once i'm really have the gifts seized have the gifts seized and the lord was like no i keep giving you dreams i keep giving you dreams so i would write about my dreams about my 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 
anti-cessationist doctrine however belonging to a baptist church that doesn't believe in this they, these people were privy to my content they would read my blog and they imagined that i was uh, rebelling against the veracity of god's word in the church and so i got excommunicated however by the time they excommunicated me i had already just kind of left by myself i got persecuted they used my family to persecute me my mom who was unregenerate is still unregenerate who had been attacked by those jebusites amorites the demonic attack that was slapping my family had already come so i left the church literally at the same time when everything was falling apart with my career with my family with my church was when all the persecution just in my life slapped me so i just got thrown into some hard knock intense whack stuff so that whole prophecy then got fulfilled where my mom dreamt that the world was coming to a blistering end and the only place where it was safe was where I was at but she was irritated she never had this level of an animosity against me before but then there was a sudden wave of attack that came spiritually and I believe it was on the church at large not just on me um, that caused my family to turn their backs on me and so now my family members were strangely hateful where I'm concerned they were concerting where, where they, they were supposed to be supportive of me but they started to concert with people who were antagonizing me that church of course has a had a vested interest in getting rid of me or at least the leadership there had a vested interest in getting rid of me because I was uh, not only really very prayerful but I was exposing what I imagined God was showing me in dreams and they thought that they like literally were like the gifts of the holy spirit have ceased that was what was happening at the time so the usage by my church of my family to hurt me and the usage by my organization where i used to work of my family to hurt me was the fulfillment of that dream that i got that the jebusites the amorites the kushites the moabites are coming up against your family so i started to get persecuted and confirmation yet as well that my that they my family members would be in the midst of something horrific in the midst of uh, horrific acts or deeds um when the uh, lord basically comes hailing down wrath and the only place where there would be safety would be where i was at my mother was told that this is gonna end this show this, the curtains are gonna close that's what's good and with the curtains closing you are gonna resent the only person that has got the truth that has understanding that is ensconced that is covered and that is protected and that individual is your daughter at the time she was given the dream she couldn't fathom being so at an at enmity enmity with me but she is now she is now and it's become so part and parcel and like normal for me to be resented by my family and unloved and unwanted that I literally can't even remember properly with any level of joy a time in my life when I was cool with my family members because it's been almost a decade of this level of opposition to me I am the only one among them born again however I've been praying fretfully that they should get saved to no avail it appears I do have an aunt that passed away that was in Christ um, she was much older like a granny age but for the better part my family members are unregenerate they are lukewarm they are on the broad road that leads to destruction that many enter into they have got a reputation for being alive even though they're dead because they do profess christianity however they have not christ truly they're not known by him they're going to be told to depart if they don't repent uh, but they love to profess jesus they absolutely call themselves they think they're born again they're not like the conglomerate of them are lost because you will know them by their fruit and it's been the sorrow of my soul and i've been praying about it for a minute because who wants to go to heaven alone who does not want to spend eternity with their sisters and their brothers biologically too alongside the spiritual conglomerate that they gain in coming to christ i want my family in heaven duh who doesn't right i've been trying to snatch them out from the flames of hell but they have despised prophecy everything i say they antagonize it they have literally become naysayers of everything i could say my hair is black or brown and they will adjust for the sake of disagreeing like literally insist that it's pink it's that bad i've got that level of opposition so that dream came to pass and then my mom got my mother is an unregenerate she's not born again she might come to christ my prayer is that she will come to jesus fretfully do i continue and fitfully do i continue to pray for them to get redeemed because like i said i don't want to be the only biological member of my particular strain of genes in heaven do you understand yeah so with all of that then being true we can conclude successfully that acts 217 is um applicable to even the unregenerate the holy spirit who ubiquitously is hovering over the plane of the earth is convicting of sin and giving dreams dreams and visions dreaming dream dreaming of dreams and um seeing of visions um and prophesying to the world and that is why sometimes true prophecy comes from the mouths of um rebellious folk right 